Here we go again. The 19-year-old penned a new long-term contract earlier this month, but Man United remain interested in his signature and a transfer could still happen. Brighton and Hove Albion chief executive Paul Barber has admitted that young striker Evan Ferguson will likely leave the Amex despite recently signing a new long-term contract. Manchester United are one of several top teams keeping tabs on Ferguson, who has developed into one of Europe's most promising stars over the past 12 months. Still only 19 years old, the Republic or Ireland international has 11 Premier League goals to his name and is a key part of Roberto De Zerbi's exciting attack on the South Coast. Ferguson penned a new long-term contract with Brighton earlier this month, committing himself to the Seagulls until 2029. But men's sport understands the striker could leave next year, and now Barber has fueled speculation of a move away. At some point in the future, Evan's gonna be playing at an even higher level if his trajectory continues as it is, Barber told SoccerX TV. We want to make sure that we do everything we can to prepare him for that, not just on the field, but off the field as well. Give him as much support as we can. I think, as I said before, that the higher level we can play at, the more chance we've got of keeping our top players for longer. It doesn't mean to say that we can keep them forever, because players will have their own ambitions of the club they want to play for and the league they want to play in and the competitions they want to perform in, and we have to be respectful of that. I believe that, and Brighton chairman Tony Bloom believes that, if we can actually show players clear pathways, not just through our club, but also beyond our club, that will actually help us attract other younger players in the future to our club as well. Which is a good thing, because that keeps our model moving, it keeps our cycle progressing, and hopefully it keeps us successful as well. After signing his new contract, Ferguson admitted he had received interest throughout last summer, but decided to stay with Brighton in order to aid his development. The teenager is a regular starter under De Zerbi when fit and has been able to gain experience in the Europa League this season. United are still interested in Ferguson, and manager Eric Ten Hag remains keen to strengthen the number nine position. The Dutchman spent 72 million of pounds on Rasmus Hoyland in the summer, but the 20-year-old is yet to score in the Premier League and cannot be solely relied upon for goals. The imminent arrival of Sir Jim Ratcliffe as a minority shareholder could pave the way for a major clearout of underperforming attackers. Jadon Sancho is almost certain to leave in January after being exiled from the first team squad by Ten Hag. While the club may opt against extending Anthony Martial's contract for a further 12 months to get him off the books next summer, again and again. Manchester United and Borussia Dortmund are reportedly thrashing out a loan agreement for Jadon Sancho. The Reds' winger has not featured for United since the beginning of September, following a public fallout with Eric Ten Hag. After the Dutchman claimed Sancho's performances in training were not up to scratch, the 23-year-old took the opportunity to respond on social media, claiming he was a scapegoat at the club. Sancho has deleted this post, but is thought to be unwilling to apologize for his actions, which have kept him out of the squad. According to Sky Sports Deutschland journalist Florian Plettenberg, the Reds and the Wingers' former club are actively working on a loan agreement. It is understood the loan deal would keep him in Germany for the remainder of the campaign, and United are desperate to get Sancho out of the club this winter. Plettenberg adds, The England international is keen on a return to Signal Iduna Park. The only pitfall for the deal is thought to center around whether United will be willing to let Sancho leave on loan when a permanent exit is preferred. Elsewhere, the Athletics' David Ornstein claims Facundo Palistri is a target for Sir Jim Ratcliffe's nice. Palistri is on the fringes of the United starting Evings and could feel hard done by it not being given more chances considering Antony's poor form. Speaking on Rio Ferdinand, Presents 5, Ornstein claimed the League One club are interested in bringing the winger on board for the second half of the season on loan. Nice are reportedly not the only club interested in the 22-year-old this winter, but it is unclear whether the Uruguayan will be allowed to exit with the squad stretched on the other side. 
Arsenal legend Ian Wright is baffled. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag chose not to sign Edson Alvarez and Mohamed Kudus while simultaneously approving a deal for Antony. The Brazilian winger started life at his new club brightly, however this form quickly dipped. By the end of last season, Ten Hag was persevering with Antony, but his performances left a lot to be desired. This season has hit a new low though. After 21 matches in all competitions, the 23-year-old has yet to register a single goal or an assist, and his form is showing little signs of encouragement for supporters. Meanwhile, Antony's former Ajax teammates Alvarez and Kudus have been in brilliant form for their new club West Ham United. The former has proven himself to be the quality defensive midfielder, which the Reds have been lacking, while the latter has 13 goals and two assists to his name. Speaking on Premier League productions, Wright could not contain his shock at the transfer business Ten Hag has overseen. The constant stick they are beating him, Ten Hag with, Alvarez and Kudus at West Ham, he explained. Two players he had himself, and it's baffling to me that you sign Antony over Kudus. I don't think we have needed to see too many games where you look at Kudus's output to Antony's output and think, how can you choose this guy over this guy, when this guy is definitely doing a lot more. The same with Alvarez, those are the signings you look back on that Ten Hag has made and think, what is going on there? It just doesn't seem right to me. Again and again. Manchester United Chiefs are reportedly set to hold talks over Mason Greenwood's future. That's as two European giants consider making shock transfer bids for the striker. Greenwood, 22, is currently on loan at Spanish side Getafe, and his three goals in 14 appearances has helped the Minnows move to eighth in La Liga. Sunsport exclusively revealed that Barcelona are interested in signing Greenwood this month. The Spanish champions are ready to offer 40 millions of pounds for the one-time England international and they have already told Greenwood he can inherit the famous No-10 jersey previously worn by Lionel Messi. But there is now interest from another La Liga side, with Atletico Madrid taking a fancy to Greenwood after his inspired performance in last month's 3-3 draw between the sides. And the Athletic claims United Chiefs are now ready to discuss Greenwood's future as they look to raise funds for transfers. Eric Ten Hag is currently limited to loans after spending big last summer. But with Greenwood unlikely to have a future at United, and with his contract expiring in 2025, a permanent exit is now on the cards. One option would be to recall him from his Getafe loan this month, before negotiating a transfer deal to either Barca or Atletico. However, the most likely outcome is that Greenwood will see out his Getafe spell until the summer before sealing a transfer then. His loan club won't mind the interest either, as they are entitled to 20% of Greenwood's transfer fee. The forward returns to action on Tuesday afternoon, when his side host, Raya Vallecano. They then travel to Espanyol in the Copa del Rey on Saturday. And later in the month, they take on Osasuna before hosting Real Madrid.